वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी हैव टू स्टार्ट द इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड एज वी हैव सीन इन लास्ट पीरियड देयर आर फाइव ग्रुप्स ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव इंस्ट्रक्शंस दीज आर डाटा ट्रांसफर इंस्ट्रक्शंस अर्थमेटिक इंस्ट्रक्शंस लॉजिकल इंस्ट्रक्शंस ब्रांचिंग इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड मशीन कंट्रोल इंस्ट्रक्शंस सो हैव वी हैव टू सी डाटा ट्रांसफर इंस्ट्रक्शंस data transfer instructions data transfer instructions now before we start uh, instructions or data transfer instructions very first we are going to clarify that whatever the instructions we are going to see all these instructions we are going to study in numeric form uh, not in machine form. so you can ask the question why the instructions are to be studied in numerics form numerics which look like english words like pseudo codes why instructions to be studied in numerics actually instructions for 805 must be in the form of 190 because we have seen the definition of instruction what is instruction instruction is a bit pattern instruction is the sequence of 1 and 0 uh, to whom a specific meaning is there instruction is made up of up code and down hands or instruction is divided into two parts that is first part that is up code and second part that is up hand up code that tell my processor what operation is to be carried out and up hand over which operation is to be carried out there are two operands and one of the operand is always along with up code that is called as the implicit another operand that we have to specify explicitly by us that is called as the explicit operand lot of things we have seen regarding the instructions of it today but the instructions that microprocessor can understand that instructions are always in the form of 1 and 0 so very first we are going to see why we are going to study the instructions in the form of numerics now instruction is a bit pattern 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 now let this is the instruction you see how the instruction is instruction is a bit pattern instruction is a sequence of 1 and 0 instruction is made up of up code and up hand so 1111011 so instruction so this is the instruction which is called as machine code machine code so if you think that remembering the 111001115 quite difficult to understand so You can convert it into the hexadecimal also. That is one 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 stand for fourteen. Fourteen stand for e. Zero one 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 seven. Zero one zero one five one 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 f. This is what is hex code. Now you see, actually, microprocessor can understand this instruction. Say. format number 1 format number 2 but when this instruction is executed when this instruction will be executed what the microprocessor perform what the microprocessor do what the microprocessor carry out the action that we can describe Short word we can read. Say this instruction when given to my processor. So it is in the form of one and zero. So this is the actual instruction that my processor can understand. It is us for our convenience we have written it into the hex. Actually, my processor can understand this instruction only. This is for our convenience. And when this instruction is executed, what happens? 
what microsoft carry out what the activities are perform what microsoft execute its description we can write as we are starting the instruction its description we are going to write its short code say when this instruction is executed microprocessor transfer the content of register b to register a so it is written in boom boom what b comma transfer the content of accumulator into register b accumulator to register b what is accumulator that is also a register 8 bit register what is register b that is also register and we know that register exactly what is in by register register is a temporary memory element in microprocessor so whatever the data that we want to store that is stored in a and by this instruction it is transferred into b now there are three formats format number 1 where the instruction is in the form of 1 and 0 format number 2 instruction is converted in hexadecimal format number 3 instruction look like in this way this is called as a new matrix new matrix m m e u new matrix what is new matrix new matrix is a short word it is the short word which look like english word new matrix is the short word for which there is a activity transfer the contents of accumulator into the register b move the contents of accumulator into the register b contents of accumulator are transferred into register b so a to b so actually the meaning of this instruction 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 actually this is the instruction this is the example this is not a uh, perfect correct this is one example we are doing when this instruction is carried out microprocessor transfer the contents of accumulator into register b so this is the long description whose short code we have written that is called as numerics so that's how we are going to study all the instruction in the form of numerics and numerics is a short word so by using that we are going to study instructions so this is it so whatever do we have seen that was the example that is not a correct that is not a standard uh, example as an example we have seen it now data transfer instruction first instruction is there move what it moves this is the numeric this is the data transfer instruction when this instruction is executed microprocessor transfer the data from register to register register to memory it means that move register to register now what are the registers this will be called as a source register this will be called as a destination register this is called as the length of instruction now you can ask the question what is the length this is the output that tell microprocessor what operation is to be carried out this is called as operand over which operand operations are carried out this is called as the length what is it by length actually here we are studying the instruction in the form of numerics it is a short word it is for our convenience microprocessor don't understand it so after all we are studying the instruction in the form of numerics which microprocessor can't understand this is for our convenience but when time will come to give this instruction to the microprocessor at that time no doubt we have to convert this instruction in the form of 1 and 0 and then we have to do but right now to understand to study we are doing so what is the rsf id source register destination register and what is the length when you will find when this instruction is to be given to the microprocessor at that time the length of that instruction or instruction which is in the form of 1 and 0 whose length will be 1 number of machine cycles 
Now we have seen machine cycle, T state, machine cycle, instruction cycle. First upload gate, microprocessor will gate the upload. And then microprocessor will understand as the name is only one. Microprocessor will understand, microprocessor will understand what the activity is to perform. Move, move up. Source register to destination register. Okay. So, number of questions I have been going one. Within upload page, not only it will get the activity to be performed, also it will get the both the operands which are towards the microprocessors. And T state, how many T state will require? That is clear. Now you can understand what is here. Here, RD is destination register. But what are the destination registers? Possibly, who can come here? That is A comma B comma C comma D comma E comma X comma L. But instead of it be possible that move M comma IS length one by two. Number of questions I can number number of questions will change. Up code dates. Now my question is what? Data is to move. Where? From source register to memory location. Yum is not a register. Yum stands for memory location. We are setting the instruction using mnemonics there. Every word is having a specific meaning. M stands for memory location. Which memory location? Whose address is toward the HL pair. So it will go to HL pair. It will ask the address and it will transfer the content of that register to memory location. That's why memory write will be there. That's why number of messages second will be two and this state will be same. Now third, move. Are they common? Move the contents of memory location into register. Which memory location? Which address is toward the microprocessor. Uh, that's all thing. So then will be one. That number of messages second will be two. From memory location to microprocessor. Upward page, memory will be this state. So here we can see. Here RS is source register. That is A comma B comma C comma D comma D comma X comma Y. And Yam is equal to Yam is memory location. Whose address is the chip? Whose address is in the chip pair? So this is called as moon instruction. This is the format. So definitely you will understand it. No problem. Data transfer instructions. First instruction we have seen. To move the data from register to register, register to memory location, memory location to register. Once again we are going to see it. No problem. Don't worry, we will uh, repeat it and while performing the program, while writing the program, again we are going to see the meaning of this instruction. I think today this first instruction you might have understand, understood and you watch this video, try to understand and after all, uh, if you are not getting, definitely we will repeat it. Thank you.